This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Deese joining us here Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course and at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Hey, what up? Happy Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show, hanging out inside the man cave. Hope you're having a good day and had a good day. Big show coming up here. We're going to chat with Alex Eshelman. Some breaking news from Alex Eshelman. Breaking personal news from Alex. So we'll uh, chat with her. Also, uh, who else is going to join? Oh, we're going to talk to Ashley Gears, author, graphic designer. She's got a book called Dear Sienna, uh, Letters to Every Daughter. And uh, it's a fantastic read. So far, and we'll uh, we'll talk with her as well. You can watch on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can listen on Podbean, Network One Sports, and so many other fantastic places. Uh, just go to JasonWalkerShow.com, and you'll get all the info you need. So, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, our Twitter handle at JWalkerSports. Our email JasonWalkerSports at gmail.com. And whatever uh, else you can think of to get a hold of us. All right. Uh, let's see here. We're going to start today. By the way, the walk-up brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. Three distinct divisions so you can create the log home of your dreams and your budget. Milled, handcrafted, timber frame, 15-plus uh, floor plans. You can go in with your own. They'll work with you and uh, get you a home that's crafted to last for generations. Check them out, Montana Custom Log Homes at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Uh, we're going to start today talking about Montana Western. And it was announced early today that all the proceeds from Thursday's home game uh, games against Providence will go towards former Bulldog women's basketball player Paige Pafhausen Holmes. Paige was a member of the 2019 NAI National Championship. She was a conference defensive player of the year twice, over 860 career points, tied for third all-time at Western with 185 career still. So what happened with Paige was her and her husband, Mick, had a baby named Parker, little girl, December 15th, C-section, no major complications. Well, then a few days later, you can watch on, turned out that, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, but. Uh, anyway, it turned out that she uh, had some issues. Uh, she developed a, an infection near her incision a few days after delivery. Things went from bad to worse. The infection started to spread. Doctors recommended surgery. Now, if you think back to December 15th, a lot of snow. They tried to get her out of Dillon that week, couldn't. Paige developed a fever. They went to do surgery immediately. Now, after surgery, Paige and her husband, Mick, were life at to Salt Lake City. She went another surgery and was admitted to the ICU and then ended up in the burn unit so they can assist in management. They're going to be in Salt Lake for at least another month, maybe two She's going to undergo several more surgeries and some skin grafting because the inspection, uh, in, infection had spread. Um, so the Western Athletic Department women's basketball team uh, invite all fans and community members of Dillon and the Frontier to uh, support Paige and her family. This is tomorrow night's games against Providence women and men. And if you check out uh, uh, umwbulldogs.com, 
there are different ways to uh, to uh, help out. You can also Venmo Paige's husband at Mick Dash Pathhausen, P A F F H A U S E N, and the frontier always comes together. Schools always come together, and Paige needs needs the love right now. It's a Montana story, and she definitely, definitely needs the love. Um, great player. I remember calling games for Carol when she played. She was really good and very defen- uh, defensive-oriented, but could hit big shots when needed. You can, uh, like I mentioned, check out the umwbulldogs.com. Uh, updates are being provided via Caring Bridge if you want to follow along in Paige's journey. And a beautiful little girl named Parker. So uh, we wish the best to the Holmes family for sure. And yeah, definitely hits, you know, we talked about Damar Hamlin yesterday. But this hits real close to home with Paige Holmes. So if you can help out, get down there tomorrow or, uh, you know, go to the website and help out. I know the family would appreciate that. There is other news um, in the world of sports in Montana and a couple of really cool stories. And one of those is golf. And... As soon as I can get back to uh, (laughs) the website, I will uh, tell you about it. Uh, Remember a couple years ago, the uh, Verge brothers, Jordan and Justin, ended up playing in a big national tournament? Well, a handful of Billings high school golfers will play this summer at the PGA High School Golf National Invite. It'll be held in Frisco, Texas at the Omni PGA Resort, July 10th through the 12th. Bella Johnson two-time Class AA girls champ, uh, senior golfers Kenzie Walsh, Lauren Mayala, Becca Washington, Avery Fawcett, Mo Kobold uh, will lead the uh, Bronx, who won the team title last year. Uh, Walsh played last year down in Pinehurst in South Carolina, and uh, Johnson couldn't play in it because... She was out last summer with a torn labrum and bulging disc. Uh, Let's see here. Laurel coach Jim O'Neill, his team boys won Class A. Uh, Their team turned down um, the trip as uh, as other teams from Laurel have done in the past because players have to pay their own way, and it's expensive. So uh, there's a GoFundMe page set up for the senior girls. They're hoping to raise ten grand to cover the uh, cost and lodging. And uh, you can check out the GoFundMe page, um, Billing Senior. So some great stories and there with the golf for sure. Super, uh, super awesome. You know, speaking of Pinehurst, remember we told you um, Ryan Cutter, the assistant golf pro and uh, junior golf extraordinaire at Green Meadow Country Club, he played in the first ever U.S. Adaptive Open last year down at Pinehurst. Uh, he came back. Those who helped support him uh, came back. We got a little uh, ball chip. It's pretty cool. Um, inaugural U.S. Adaptive Open Pinehurst. It's pretty sweet. Um, Ryan's actually going to be starting up a junior golf academy here in Helena. We'll have more details uh, down the road, and we'll have him on the show to talk about it. He loves teaching juniors, and I don't know if I've ever seen anybody better at teaching juniors the game of golf than Ryan Cutter. He is absolutely fantastic. So some great news uh, coming out of the state of Montana um, with a couple of great stories. There's high high school hoops tonight all over the state. It's crazy. And uh, you miss a couple weeks or a week and a half with the holiday break, and then all of a sudden games hit back to back to back to back to back. So it's cool. It's very cool. Uh, Tomorrow on the show, we're going to talk FCS National Championship. That'll be Sunday down in Frisco, Texas, noon mountain time to kick off. And it will be South Dakota State, North Dakota State. We'll talk to Sam Herter from Hero Sports FCS tomorrow uh, here on the show. 
get his prediction on who wins. How does South Dakota State deal with Frisco with a full capacity stadium as opposed to the spring season a couple of years ago? And is North Dakota State beatable? SDSU got them earlier in the year in October, but are they beatable down in Frisco? And if nobody, if SDSU, which is built for beating NDSU, can't win, then who's ever going to beat NDSU <laughs> down there? Oh, man, it'll be interesting to see for sure. All right, we'll take a break. Uh, we'll come back, and when we do, we're going to check in with Alex Eshelman. She's got some breaking personal news. If you haven't seen it on social media yet, it's sad and yet happy at the same time. Alex will talk to us next when we return here. The uh, Walk Up, brought to you by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. Over 50 years experience, the finest craftsmen available not only in the state, but I think in the entire West, Western United States. And you can get a hold of them. They're family-owned, veteran-owned, woman-owned and operated and uh, you can get a hold of them at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. Alex Eshelman, when we come back here on a Wednesday, this is the Jason Walker Show. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want to support local business. Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Ah, summer. A time to work in the yard and get all those projects that you've been thinking about all winter done. And when you've had enough, go to Lucky Dot Casino and Bar to cool off, relax, laugh a little, or a lot, your choice, have a drink and play your favorite games. There's plenty of new games and your old favorites. Now, if you don't want to work hard and the relaxing part sounds the best to you, then just head over to Lucky Dot Casino and Bar on Dredge behind Jade Restaurant. Happy summer, everyone. 
Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $289. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. On a Wednesday, I'm going to talk to author and graphic designer Ashley Gears coming up out about her book, Dear Sienna, Letters to Every Daughter. It's a fantastic read from what I've gotten through so far. And uh, talk about the inspiration behind it, what went into it. How scared was she to put her personal love letters to her daughter out for the public's consumption that's coming up also on this day in history the walk-off this segment brought to you by Rutgers furniture make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers furniture 1010 dearborn helena tomorrow sam herder is going to join us talk fcs championship got a lot of high school hoops going on right now as well and what else did i see that i wanted to uh, hit on I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Frontier back in action tomorrow. Big Sky back in action tomorrow. So, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, bring this down. There we go. All right. She's been a part of the show for over two years. She's become a great friend, not only of the show, but personally. And uh, she's moving on from Bozeman. It was announced today. But uh, Alex Eshelman will fill us in. She's got some breaking personal news. And she joins us now here on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. Oh, this is the start of a new year. I'm trying to be very excited right now. But Alex Eshelman, former ABC Fox Montana SWX Montana sports reporter. I'm still going to call you that for right now until we get the news out there, but um, okay. happy holidays. How was your holiday break? Holiday break was good. Holiday break was very good, despite having to wait at the airport for essentially two days to get home, sprint oh. across the Denver airport, luggage doesn't get in, have to go back to the Sacramento airport the next day, Christmas Eve to get the luggage. It was quite something. And then on the way home, my flight was delayed two days, which actually it worked out. That, that was, that was kind of a blessing in disguise. It was, it was a good extra couple days, but um, yeah, I mean, it overall holidays, it's some people, you know, okay, they can be hard, really fortunate that I, you know, really close with my family and, and some of my close friends back at home and had a great time back in El Dorado Hills. How was it for you, Jason? It was, it was okay. So we had to put a dog down, uh, two days before Christmas. Whoa. Yeah. It was our second one in 2022. That's uh, what I'm, I'm like, wait, didn't you just put a, a, a dog down, down in, like in four August. months ago? Yeah. In August, uh, brother and sister, both chihuahuas, but well, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. He was old. Um, pig loved him to death. But so in between Christmas and New Year's, my wife is, you know, she's like, next time we get a puppy, we're going to the shelter a rescue. And it's going to be older because I don't want to puppy train. I don't want to do any of that. Right. And then New Year's Eve, she couldn't sleep. So she's scrolling like, you know, the home to homes, the shelters. And New Year's Day, we meet a pup that's now 11 weeks old. His name is Jordan and we have a new puppy. I don't know if you can see it. Cute. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, 11 weeks old today. Little Adorable. Mike, Michael Jeffrey Jordan Alexander Spieth. Cause she's a Jordan fan and I'm a Jordan Spieth fan, so. Wait, so that's the full name of your dog. That is our, our government name, yes. Michael Jeffrey Jordan Alexander Spieth. So which one are we going with? Jordan is his name. Adorable. Yes. Yep. Adorable. Yep. Oh, Jason. Well, I'm sorry that of the <laughs> passing of both of your 
little furry fr- family yeah. members. That is not yeah. fun. Yeah. But oh, you, know Jason. you added a new one yeah. and it's going to be another great journey. Absolutely. But we have to do the puppy training and all that stuff, which is going smooth. Uh, and the four-year-old loves him. So that's, that's really, Perfect. she's got her forever pup. Does your, 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 your sister and mom miss me? Of course. And you, <laughs> you're not including my dad too, but you haven't met my dad. That's the problem. Well, you I know? haven't met yeah. mom yet either, but everybody misses you. Cause they all, they all, yeah, that's true. I mentioned my mom the last time. Yeah. All three miss you, even though they haven't met you in person. Uh, your sister's fantastic. Um, she right. is. Uh, I missed you in Tucson because the Bobcats were playing. You got to go to Tucson to cover that game. I was in Phoenix. None of us wanted to drive an hour and a half to Tucson after watching 17 basketball games in four days. We were all kind of just basketballed out. So that's, we didn't show up. We wanted to, but we didn't. That's okay. That's okay. I'll be your eyes and ears. It was fantastic. I, I, I haven't been back to U of A since graduation in May of 2019, so almost four years. And it was, I just didn't realize how much I missed it. Maybe I missed it a little little extra being that we were coming from sub-zero temps (laughs) to 65 and sunny. I I was like, oh, this is why I went to school here. (laughs) Yep, this is exactly why I went to school here. But no, it was great. And hey, I love... Montana State played amazing yeah, until did. probably about the last like seven minutes or so where U of A kind of ran away with it. But Montana State was in the game and and was very competitive throughout most of the game. And I watched Danny Sprinkle courtside and I'm like, you're going to coach my Wildcats one day. I tell him all the time. <laughs> He's on his way. He's oh, he gonna is. Be there. He's going to be there. I'm putting – I'm manifesting that for him because – because he deserves it, and um, and I just think I really do believe he's that talented. So well, it could be next year because Sean Miller's got himself a whole host of issues. But um. uh, unfortunately, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that seems to follow him uh, everywhere no. he goes. God uh, dang it! We're talking with Alex Eshelman here, the Eshel Special. It is the quote unquote final edition of the of this as is oh. because. I will let you break your news. This is my last week with ABC Fox Montana, last week in Bozeman. Um, Tomorrow it will be announced where I'm going next. It's, I'll just say this, it's a win-win situation. I'm not going across the country. I'm, um, yeah, it's definitely a win-win situation and it's time. It's time, but with that being said, it was not an easy decision. I think I got all my tears out uh, a couple weeks ago when I finally said, okay, this is my time. But um, I just, I have loved Montana so much. I have loved it so much. I've Once I got this job, I'd never stepped foot in the state and every person has made me feel welcome. You being one of them at every high school game, at every Bobcat sporting event, even at Grizz cheer tryouts. When my girl Tessa, Coach Tessa Nato, uh, had me be a judge for the Grizz, that I loved it. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. And I've, you know, it's, it's really just, it's been a dream come true. I, I have family in Bozeman. I have family in Livingston, so I won't be far. I'm still going to be coming back, but this uh this whole experience last two and a half years will hold a really special place in my heart so and thank you to you for giving me the opportunity to be on your show i know that it's highly respected i mean i told you about a month ago coach weshi with the bozeman hawks made comment to me how much he enjoys listening to your show and watching your show so it's been an honor to be a part of this with you. And, um, you know, I hope this is not the last time I get to be on the show. No, it won't be. Uh, can we tell people what you're going to be doing? Or do we have to wait for the no, announcement? No, we have to wait till tomorrow. Oh. I would, I would break. Yeah, it's not, that's not up to me, but we have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, uh, it's, you're killing me, Smalls. Um, I know. It's going to be great, it's though. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's it is. Not, it's it not is. like this huge. Yeah, it's a win-win. You're, you're not going far, like you said. You are yep. going out of state. Um, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of what I can say without giving it away. I'll still be connected to the Big Sky Conference. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. The Cats, yeah. the Grizz, you'll still be yeah. on this show. 
Uh, we're still going to do the Football Hall of Fame red carpet down in Billings in June. Yeah, um, still going to cover yep. the beautiful state just on a bigger scale. Yes, so. I can't wait um, for that announcement because you you deserve it. You've worked your tail off, and uh, thank you. Reading the social media that you put out today, um, nothing but love for you because that's that's mm -hmm. you can't beat Alex Eshelman. She is the best in Montana. Um, Chris Byers yeah. used to be that, but it's, it's Alex Eshelman. No, it's still Chris. It's still, we, <laughs> no, don't put me, I can never be in the same category oh. as Chris Byers. He's a legend. No, you might and, be a better golfer though. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to, no, come on. You're being too nice to me. Cause we have to, so we have to, you have to get up to Billings again next year for, or this June, we have to be on the same golf team. Um, we're going to make the red carpet for the hall of fame bigger and better than it was last year, which was amazing. Um, I would love that. I would love to do that. You're going to be part of this show still. I, and we're teasing people until tomorrow, but it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be big, even bigger. Can we, I mean, is that a good way to phrase it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm really grateful to still stay connected. Um, with Montana and Montana state. And, you know, we'll, we'll just see, see how it goes from there. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I have such, so much respect for the, for the big sky conference. I have so much respect for these two schools in particular. And I think that they only need more recognition and more exposure. So that's, that's what the goal is. It's going to be awesome. Um, favorite, memory of Bozeman is going to be the Bobcats are going to the national championship. <laughs> I, I knew it was going to have something to do with it. Going to play in Texas. Got to have fiddle <laughs> in the band. That. Yes. Yeah. Um, that is my, that's my favorite sports. Oh, it's that, it's that, or it's that times being able to see the, um, see both the men's and women's teams punch their ticket to March Madness. Yeah. Those two things, I mean, those, all those things combined were pretty, pretty surreal. Um, okay. Favorite it's being college game day. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I've been so lucky. Gosh, I've been blessed. You have been, you came it's at a amazing. great time. We have had, I mean, it's pretty remarkable. The last two and a half years that I've been here, it's been incredible. It's been incredible. It's been, I mean, I can't even, it's been the best. I mean, I've been around sports my whole life. High school had, you know, successful football team, basketball team, college football, kind of rough at times, basketball, good. Um, but here in Montana state, it's been the best sporting experience I've had. Yeah. Well, it, you, like I said, you came at a great time, especially in the Gallatin Valley and mm -hmm. uh, up there on the campus of Montana State. All right, favorite or um, the coach you'll miss the most? Oh. I'm asking the tough ones today, Alex. I usually throw you softballs, but. Coach I'm going to miss the most. I'm going to go with my girl, Trisha Benford. And that's a tough one because I love coach. I have so much respect for Coach Vegan. Um and the way, I mean, I just think there are a lot of coaches out there that uh, don't, and just people in general that don't live uh, a balanced lifestyle. And Coach Vegan to me is the epitome of like understanding what, you know, the importance of family. He just, he's just, he just got it right. You know, he's just a good example. Danny Sprinkle, I mean, has, he's, he's been amazing. Another person that I look up to in life, just in general, I think that he's an amazing leader. And I, um, he also prioritizes family and people just have their heads on straight around here. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like yep. people understand the import of what's important in life. And, um, coach vegans that way, uh, sprinkles that way. There's been, everybody's that way, but I'm going to go with Trisha Benford. Um, I have so much enjoyed learning from her and her warmth. She always runs up and gives me a hug. We have the same birthday as well. I did not know that. 
February 26th. Yep, we are both Pisces. We share the same birthday. And I've learned so much from her. I admire her. I love her family and her daughter, Brooklyn. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go with Coach Ben. Uh, were you there? Oh, no, you weren't there because it was in Cheney. Uh, 300 career wins. She was on the show yesterday talking about it. Um, that's an important number in, in basketball coaching, and she's done it well and done it for a long time at Montana State and, and deserves every accolade. And that's one, I mean, like I was just saying about Danny Sprinkle, and you could say the same thing about Coach Vegan being in the conversation for the Colorado job this year. All these coaches are are bound to do big things. Mm -hmm. They are bound to um, to go beyond Montana State. And one thing that I respect so much about Coach Benford is that she's had opportunities to go to a Pac-12 school. She's had opportunities to go coach and be a head coach at a Power 5, and she has prioritized Montana State because she understands the quality of life here, just quite frankly, is pretty tough to beat. Um, so I respect, I respect her for that tremendously. All right. Uh, favorite restaurant in Bozeman you will miss? Western. Okay. My girl, Susan. Okay. I have to go say bye to her. I love the owner. She's wonderful and a beaut American native. And, um, you don't get, I mean, you just don't get better breakfast. No. Uh, favorite bar. Um, Another one that is holds a place near and dear to my heart, Mike Hope. Therefore, oh, our bar okay. or anything that he owns, I'm a fan. He's given me some of the funnest times I've ever had in my life at some of his bars. So I'm going to go rock and R. All right. Fifth quarter, rock and R. Favorite story you told in two and a half years? I am going to go with um, actually... Oh, there's been so many. There's really been a lot, but I'm going to go high school. One of my first stories in my first year, Jackson Ellis, um, who is a little person and is the manager for Manhattan High School's football team. Um, and I just found his story. I mean, that's just one of the one of many. There's just so many good people here, but he in particular really inspired me he said you know I would love to play with these guys I can't but this is the way that I can be a part of it and it was just a really beautiful um story of how he embraced the role that he could play and vice versa the players embraced him as one of their own the mm -hmm. coaches embraced him as one of their own so uh, I would go with that one okay um worst story you had to tell worst story I had to tell like the toughest I would probably say um gosh I'm I'm trying to think in terms of a tearjerker I mean I think one challenging story was coach Cho leaving yeah people love loved and love that man here mm -hmm. and uh and for good reason so i think and i was so excited to cover him when i first got here because kevin cassis who played for him for year for all of his time at montana state who i you you know i grew up with him in uh el dorado hills he loved him and had nothing but good things to say about him so i was bummed but you know one door closes another one opens and i got Coach Vegan, and am I so lucky to cover him? So it's it's all worked out. Uh, let's see here. Um, what's your roommate think? Sad. She's my best friend here <laughs> and one of my best friends in life. Uh, it's kind of weird. We grew up, she grew up in the Bay Area, I and obviously I grew up in Sacramento. She went to Arizona State. I went to Arizona. So we've always been no more than an hour to two hours away from each other. She was also a cheerleader. So we were at the same competition, same everything, and just didn't cross paths until, I don't know, Bozeman, Montana was supposed to be the place. And, um, and she's been such a light in my life and will always be a light in my life. So we're, we're sad, but it's okay. Favorite coworker? Uh, favorite coworker? Well, I'm going to go with the guy that's sitting next door. Sam! He's gone. Oh. 
Sam, I'm going to go with, um, oh gosh, there's so many. <laughs> no, I can't. That's not fair. Sam's not here. Since Sam's not here, I'll give you the honest answer. I love Sam to death. I'll, I love Sam to death. But I'm going to go with Tanya Palazzi. She is um, our our head sales gal here uh, in in the Bozeman office. And she has been like my work mom. I go into her office every day, vent about something or you know, cry, laugh, whatever. She's always been there. So Tanya. Okay. Um, where will you be in five years? Will you be where you're headed or are we, I mean, I've got a future star sideline reporter, media personality. You're going to be hosting your own show soon, I think. Oh, that's very nice of you, Jason. Um, I would hope in five years that... Oh, okay. I would hope in five years I'm somewhere closer to family. Okay. That's one because family is most important. So fam, so close to my family, whether that is in Sacramento or somewhere else, I don't know, closer to family. And I don't know, just happy. Yes. You'll be happy. happy. You'll just be happy. happy. Five yeah. years, as long as I'm happy and close to family whatever that means that's it yeah but that could be new york isn't that where your sister lives yeah but she's <laughs> she's gonna come back too we're not we're it's, you know we're just we're just perusing around okay. the u.s <laughs> right now i like it i like it we're, we're talking around and then one day we're gonna be like okay Time to this go. Is, yeah. Now we got it. Now we got to get it together. We really have to get it together now. <laughs> We're talking with Alex Eshelman for the final time uh, in this version. I cannot wait for the future because it, she still will be a part of the show. Uh, all right. I got to ask this favorite sports personality that you worked with, whether That's it's not you. radio or TV. That's not you. No, I want to be included in this. Well, I can't say. <laughs> okay, you, fine. That's, that's I'm not on your show. That's I, not me. You that's are one me. of my favorites, and that is very hard to pick because I don't. I really don't know if I have a favorite. I think I've learned so much from all of you. I've learned so much from you. I've learned a lot from Sean Rainey, mm-hmm. my director. I've learned a lot from my coworker Zach Kaplan. I've learned a lot from the people who are not on air. Vince Bagdy, who is yep. my other director, yep. um, who used to be on air. Uh, I've learned a lot from my competitors. I've learned a lot from Ashley Washburn. I've learned a lot from Eddie Messel. I've learned a lot from uh, Robbie oh, Whittle at NBC. I mean, I forgot Eddie. John Miller, yeah. who is no longer here. Like I've learned from so from everybody and uh zach Mackey is at the top at the top of my list we had some of the best times ever covering uh the bobcats last year so i can't i can't pick a favorite you didn't even mention buyers well i already mentioned buyers oh, earlier, okay. in the, oh. earlier as <laughs> as the goat of all goats okay so. okay that's that's yeah. fair i'll let <laughs> Yeah. I just like My to give writer, him a hard time. I mean, Keaton Gologly, all of them. I've had a blast with all of them. All right. Favorite sports information director at Montana State, Lamberty or Schultz? I can't answer you that. You have to. They've equally done enough. <laughs> they, they have equal, equally have done enough for me. I will say, though, if there's one person that has put up with way more annoying questions and calls for me. Bill? It's one Bill Lamberty. <laughs> I have called him How did I know that? on on average during football season per day on average three times a day. Oh. That is the that is the meeting. That is uh <laughs> and he'll pick up and he'll be like, Yes, Alex. I'm like, I'm sorry, Bill. This is the last time I'm calling you, I swear. Thirty minutes later, Bill, I swear this is the last call. I swear. Two hours later, Bill, I'm serious. How's Lynn? How's Lynn doing? <laughs> How are the kids? Good. Okay. One last thing. Coach Vegan's available tomorrow, right? That's, he's put up. So, God Bill, love Bill has put up with a lot of us yes. over the years. Um, he's the, he's the best in the business. I, I absolutely love him to death. He's a legend. They're all legendary. They know more information that I think I'll know in a lifetime. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, 
Anything you want to add? I don't want to let you go because I, I don't know when we're going to talk next. Okay, I have I have to ask you a question. Okay. So favorite, okay, let's talk about favorite maybe show that we've, or like highlight that we've done together. Ooh. Either, you know, on or off the show. Golfing yeah. with Rainy was pretty fun. That was, you know, I love that golf course. Oh, it was beautiful. What golf course was that in Billings? What is it called? Uh, was it Prior Creek? Let's hope that's what the name is called because okay. I don't remember. The I name. don't either. Um, so I just know that was <laughs> um, the red carpet event was awesome, but that I think that might be recency bias. Um, I don't. Know. I'm going to go red carpet because that was so special. Being able to talk to every, I mean everybody, everybody. It was that was really fun and getting the families involved. Yeah. It was that was great. Red carpet, and but I'm trying to think of. Um, of show like favorite show they're all good for me because i get to talk with you i I think it was probably within this last year after after both basket bobcat basketball teams punched their ticket to march madness and and bethany cordell said the year of the bobcat and we kind of talked about how it was the year of the Bobcat and this year has been spe- I mean, another year of the Bobcat in so many different ways. It's been a great year. Uh, I did enjoy the show before Thanksgiving when your sister hopped on. Yes. That, that was, was a fun one. That was great. Um, the show, I think you were off. It would have been a couple months ago. It was cold out. You were off and you were shopping, so you showed us what you bought that day. Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep. Sitting in your car for 35 minutes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, or about the time that I was going to Texas for the national championship and we were in the airport. That was kind of fun. Yes, because you were sitting with uh, Tommy Malat's mom, right? I was sitting with Ty Okada's girlfriend. Ty Okada's girlfriend, okay. Oh, no. yep. Close enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, like family, yeah, yeah, girlfriends, significant other related. Yeah. I enjoyed the uh, post draft show talking about all the Bobcats that were drafted and, and going to the NFL. Yes. That was a Incredible. good one. Incredible. Incredible. Yep. Um, yeah. We did not talk in Frisco. You were super busy, as was I. Um, yes. I was hoping to get back there this year. I'm really bummed about that. <laughs> You know what, Jason? It's okay because I have full faith that they will be they will be back within the next five years. Mark my words, they will be back and they will win. I think you and I are going to run into each other in Frisco a year from now. I mean, from what it sounds like, people are feeling good about how we're going to look next year. But I like how Coach Vegan he's almost hit. You know, interviewing him so many times and uh, the culture within their coaching staff, within the team of the next man up mentality. I mean, it's not even just them. Danny Sprinkle has this, Trisha Benford. They are so humble and so preparation oriented and and making sure that uh, they don't take any game for granted. So we're just going to think one game at a time. It's not even football season yes, I anymore. I, I, yeah, so. I know, I know. I just want to be back in Frisco. Me too. Uh, I do too. All right. Favorite town outside of Bozeman you got to visit and cover? Dylan. Okay. Dylan is my, yeah, Dylan is, is my favorite small town. I love Lew- I actually loved Lewistown. Yes. See, but people to me say, I mean, the true true Montanans will say, well, Dylan and Lewistown are not the small towns. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> they it's are, but they're not. No, I hear it. What? I mean, what are you talking about? So if we're going to go small, 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 I mean, is White Sulphur Springs smaller yes. than either of those? Yes. Yep. Is Townsend smaller? I like Townsend. Townsend's nice. Big oh, big timber. How could I miss? I, yeah, I mean, big timber, the land of the Bobby Hauk. You got to go to Gardner. Um, Gardner, yes, yep, liked Gardner. I'm trying to think of any other ones. I gosh, I've seen a good amount. Also, we'll go with those handful. And you got to cover yeah. a national championship. Let's not forget that the MSU women's rodeo team. 
oh my God, how could I forget that? Yeah. <laughs> spring rodeo. Spring rodeo was fantastic. Something I've never experienced before. Um, Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that goes back to the, the run out seeing the, I've said this a multiple times on your show. I wish I was a barrel racer so badly <laughs> and I will never be a Paige Rasmussen, but uh, every time I watch them, I'm like, I wish I, you guys are the badasses. Yep. You are. They are. Excuse me, language. No, you, that's fine. Um, They're the actual cowgirls and I'm the one that puts on the cute, <laughs> Fashion cowgirl hat and right. cowgirl boots, and I'm a I'm a wanna, wannabe cowgirl. You know that reminds me. One of my favorite things working with you was doing the spring rodeo last year in April in Bozeman um, for the yes. for the short go on Sunday, and you were down there interviewing all the winners, and it was fun. That, that was, was the so one fun. time we got to really work together with SWX. That is true. It was, it was, a, it, but it was great. Yeah. It was awesome. It was so wonderful. Great. I mean, so unique. You don't get that type of experience really anywhere else. No, especially if you go East coast, you're not getting that, that experience at all. Right. Right. No, it's, a. it's, I mean, it's as whether you like it or not, it's as Yellowstone esque oh. as, as you get your, you get that fix of feeling like, wow, this is, I'm, I'm actually watching legitimate rodeo and, and, you know, it's awesome. It's an amazing place. Montana is, it is, I'll say this, it it lives up to it saying the last best place, not just because of the beautiful scenery, but it's because of the people who make the place. And, um, you know, it's truly the last best place it is for those reasons. Well, you were one that made Bozeman better. Um, Thank you. And sports coverage down there, much better. Um, I'm going to miss you. You're not going far away. And I have, I have to keep yeah, it. not going far. Exactly. I'm and not you, going far. You will be on the show again, just not every week. I mean, exactly. Well, maybe. Exactly. Maybe. We'll see. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Thank you again, Jason. It's been wonderful. And, uh, and to more fun times ahead. Absolutely. Say hi to the family. Um, I will. um, happy holidays to you and them, but, uh, congratulations on this new gig. It is going, you're going to absolutely kill it and take it to a level that has never been done. And it was taken to a high level, but it's going to be even taken even higher. So I can't wait. Um, congratulations. I'm so honored to have worked with you and we'll keep it rolling for sure. We're keeping it rolling. Thank you, Jason. That is Alex Eshelman joining us on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. It's not just a bundle at your home, at your auto, at your life. Mike understands that. Get a hold of Mike Miller State Farm in Helena today. All right, quick break. We'll come back and we'll talk to author, graphic designer, Ashley Gears about her book, a love letter basically for all daughters. And we'll talk about it next here on the Jason Walker Show. Hang on. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want Want to support local business? Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. 
Spring is fast approaching and summer is just around the corner. So now is the time to get those windows tinted at Auto Concepts as the sun starts to heat up. Tinting is the best way to keep the sun out of your little one's eyes driving down the road. Plus, it just looks cool. Auto Concepts is your exclusive 3M dealer for tinting as well as the best clear bras in town. Auto Concepts clear bras will not fade or yellow over time. And don't forget about suspension lifts and power steps for your rig too. Visit AutoConceptsHelena.com or check them out on Facebook. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm Agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Ah, summer, a time to work in the yard and get all those projects that you've been thinking about all winter done. And when you've had enough, go to Lucky Dot Casino and Bar to cool off, relax, laugh a little or a lot, your choice, have a drink and play your favorite games. There's plenty of new games and your old favorites. Now, if you don't want to work hard and the relaxing part sounds the best to you, then just head over to Lucky Dot Casino and Bar on Dredge behind Jade Restaurant. Happy summer, everyone. This is the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back. Final segment on a Wednesday. Miss anything? You get, we want to watch any of our previous shows. You go to jasonwalkershow.com. Coming up on this day in history, the walk-off. This segment brought to you by Bowser's Lucky Dog Casino on Dredge in Helena. Make sure you stop in, drink, gamble responsibly. Uh, let's see here. So I'm sitting in the hotel room in Phoenix a couple weeks ago with the basketball team and from Providence and stumbled on Instagram and I think or Twitter and then somehow on Etsy and stumbled across this book called Dear Sienna and it is Letters to Every Daughter. It's uh, from Ashley Gears. She is a author and graphic designer. And I thought, you know what? I've got two daughters. I got uh, each of them the book and uh, been reading it so far. It's a great read and I uh, look forward to finishing it. And she joins us now here on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline to talk about her book. Here's Ashley Gears on the Jason Walker Show. Well, it is my pleasure to welcome in author, graphic designer. Her name is Ashley Gears, and I, I bought I bought two books, one for each of my daughters. First off, happy holidays. How are you? I'm good. How have the holidays changed since you became a mom? Um, pretty substantially, <laughs> I would say. I mean, um, I had her when I was like 24, 25. Um, so I had a few years of not having to worry about, you know, uh, all the things that come with, uh, holidays and spreading my time with in-laws and making sure she's seeing everyone and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, when I had her, I mean, you just have to balance so many other things and, um, obviously it's like all about them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, you want to make everything awesome for them and, 
um, yeah, it changes, I mean, basically every aspect, I think. So <laughs> how old is she now? Uh, she's 10 and a half. Okay. So um, you're the author of the book, Dear Sienna, and it, I, I made it through the first couple of chapters, and, and it talks about, you know, how you met your husband and, and, and then the process, I mean, it went quick from proposal to marriage and then the process to get pregnant wasn't easy and it, it's a first the first couple of chapters really discuss this and uh, take me through that um basically yeah like you said i mean we got engaged after uh, just about a year after we met and then uh, we were only engaged for i think like 10 weeks <laughs> Um, which was extra crazy because um, my husband is Catholic and I wasn't baptized. I didn't, I wasn't raised uh, religious of any kind. So uh, in the Catholic church, it is actually tradition if you get married in the church, which was very important to his family, obviously, mm -hmm. um, that your, the person you're marrying is also you know, confirmed in Catholicism, and if you're not, or even if you are, a lot of times you have to take, like, um, couples classes, like, beforehand, and you usually have to do, like, a retreat, like, it's a pretty big, um, basically you have to prove to the priest that, yeah. like, you guys are legit. <laughs> I, I went through that and as well. My wife and I had both been married previous. She's Catholic. I'm not. I had to go to a couple okay. of classes and convince him that, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're good. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, uh, trying to do that in a 10 week time frame. Um, obviously I did not become Catholic in 10 weeks. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we took this like elaborate test. Um, they put you in two different rooms and they give you, it's like, I don't know, hundreds, hundreds of questions. Um, and you each take it and then they come together and they compare your answers kind of mm -hmm. and um we only answered differently on it was either two or three questions um one of them was like who's in charge of the uh the family credit card <laughs> and both of us said like not applicable <laughs> so we had to discuss that um and then, oh, the other, the one question, the other one was that I actually read it wrong because the way they were them is kind of weird. And I thought it said, um, like, are you, I don't know, the, ha the real question was like, are you uncomfortable with your spouse's drinking or something? And I, the way I answered it was like the opposite. So it made it look like... <laughs> I was uncomfortable with his drinking, but she's not even a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting so, hammered every night. <laughs> yeah. So then trying to convince someone that, like, because then the priest is in the room, like, Ashley, tell me about Joe's drinking. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then it's like, are you sure you're not just, you know, protecting him? <laughs> right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not. And so, Yeah. But we made it. We got approved. We did it in 10 weeks. And then, uh, yeah, the um, having kids, we both actually, uh, when we were dating, when we were dating, we had kind of said, like, we did both like four. I come from a really big family. Um, he has two sisters, and, and, like, he's a teacher and a coach. He loves kids, you know, so um, we had kind of had, like, four in our minds. Um, but... Yeah, the process, um, I have some health issues, and so um, I was, I had multiple miscarriages um, before and after our daughter, so she's definitely my miracle baby. Yes. Um, yeah. And you lost your dad at an early age, and, and did that really, I mean, obviously that had to inspire you with, with Sienna that, look, this is, this is, like you said, a miracle baby, and, and I didn't have this growing up. I want to make as many memories as possible. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I remember being a little girl, and, you know, the longer, the more I, like, grew up and the longer he was gone, um, you know, the less, like, memories I would have and um, just, like, would feel further and further away from him and, and more and more, like, 
you know, like, was he ever even there? Like, it just felt less and less real that I ever had him. And, um, but at the same time, like, even at 35 today, like, I find myself often, like, you know, asking him or looking to him for some sort of advice or sign or, you know, comfort or something in whatever I'm going through at the time or, um, you know, feel like a, a dad would be nice to have for, for some input. Um, and I just, I don't ever want her to feel that way. Um, obviously, it's inevitable to some degree, but I want her to have not something just in her mind to hold on to, but like something physical that she really knows she can like look to and a physical reminder that I really was here and I really did, you know, tell her these things and I loved her and um, maybe things I tell her now, they, you know, she needs later that I can't give to her for whatever reason or she hears differently then (laughs) instead of now. (laughs) Uh, the book is called Dear Sienna, Letters to Every Daughter by Ashley Gears. She's also a graphic designer by day. And joining us here, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. What was the hardest chapter for you to write, or hardest letter for you to write? Um, probably the one telling her that I wasn't going to be able to give her any siblings, that I'd let that ship sail. I feel like was probably my um, my most difficult one because it felt like it felt like um, this tear between like giving up or something or like I didn't I didn't want to let her down or feel like I didn't try um, hard enough or I don't know just no, nothing like logical <laughs> <laughs> just you know my mom guilt <laughs> right um, you do have so there's 32 chapters and. And they're all labeled. And and one that sticks out to me is the chapter 19 on bullying. I was bullied. I've known friends that were bullied. I've dealt with that, you know, my entire life because I've I've been short. But what 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 were you hoping to accomplish in that letter? Um, I think really my overall kind of mindset as a a mom and and teaching my child and preparing my child for the world whether it's um, while she's in my kind of nest right now and I can protect her to some degree or you know she comes home from school or practices or whatever she's doing and um, I'm obviously here every night to reassure her or um, you know make her feel better about whatever's happening or kind of talk her through whatever she's dealing with but obviously she's going to leave someday and have to, you know, uh, to some degree comfort herself and yep. feel confident in herself. So I've just always believed that um, really my biggest job as her mom is to make her believe in herself and see her value and her um, her own strengths and her own unique qualities and to understand that... Um, really all that matters is what she thinks of herself instead of, you know, what um, other people are saying to her or about her or think of her and just really trying to instill that confidence in who she is and that it really does not matter what anyone else thinks about it or says about it um, if she's, you know, good with that. So it's really my overall kind of, whenever she comes to me with like, someone's being mean to her or um, just she's not feeling like understood or she's misunderstood is just reminding her that a lot of times that has more to do with the other person even though it's kind of hard to remind yourself of that Um, and so yeah I just putting it on paper (laughs) and giving her something to refer back to like I said right now she probably thinks I'm just like you know an annoying mom (laughs) (laughs) well that's that's every every kid growing up at some point your mom is annoying and so is your dad um but what inspired you to make these letters love letters to your daughter essentially public with the book um, actually, that was not initially intentional at all. Um, I, like I said, the very first letter I wrote her was, you know, when she was a little teeny baby. Um, 
and I just kind of naturally kept writing them every so often and to the point where I obviously had a number of them and I started to think about like how am I going to give them to her like am I going to just give them to her as she grows up and I feel like oh she you know came home and talked about bullying so I'm going to give her you know that letter or am I going to give her like all of them when she's 18 or um, should I give them to her before then or and when I do give them to her like am I going to print them off and just like hand her a stack of copy paper <laughs> or am I going to put them in envelopes or a book and then like um, my mom is actually the one who uh, was pretty hard pressed on me making it into an actual book um, she just I mean she's my mom she's my biggest fan but yeah, yeah of course <laughs> um, she felt like other people needed to read them too um, and so yeah, I would say my mom pretty much convinced me to <laughs> make them more public because, um, which I, I honestly didn't think I would sell. I mean, I figured my friends and family would, like, sure. do a courtesy buy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I didn't think that, you know, anyone else would really buy it. I didn't think it would really go anywhere. I just wanted something, like, I, I really just wanted at least one of them to print off and give to, her, to Sienna, so... Um, that actually wasn't planned, wasn't expected. Like, that just kind of happened that way. How has the sales been? Um, really good. I, like I said, I was not expecting it. Um, Amazon, they sell very well, and I don't really do anything. It's just kind of up there. And then um, I have copies on Etsy that I sell mm -hmm. that are, like, personalized. That's case, where I got you know. mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so did you autograph mine with the uh, the same way you autographed your first one for her with love? Yes. Okay, so she's not getting a special copy, except <laughs> she got the first copy. <laughs> no, but some people do have copies of with her signature in it. I don't know if yours has that. No, I only got yours. Oh, <laughs> dang. She some she sometimes signs the the back cover that is awesome what was her reaction when you when you gave her the book um she pretty much i think thought she was like famous the first time she saw it <laughs> <laughs> of course of course yeah. um does she, she was read, only like seven i think does she read them a lot does she go back and read the letters a lot yeah she's got a, a fairly beat up copy <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine how many times have you gone back and read them? Or are you continuing to write? And will there be a chapter two, basically? Book two. Yeah, there will be a part two. Um, I still write her letters periodically. Uh, obviously, the first time it took me like seven years to get that, that many. So um, I figure I'll do the same thing. Once I have a roughly that many, I'll make part two. And um, But yeah, rereading, rereading the current one, I think I only did like a couple times um, once it was printed and then I mean I wrote them so they're like very much in my head <laughs> right yeah you so, know what you said <laughs> yeah how much editing was done Ashley or any um, honestly I, I actually tried not to edit them a whole lot um, I mean enough like that it's not you know egregious but um, I didn't want that's also part of the reason I've had um, some publishing companies contact me about um, taking over, but I don't want to edit them heavily because um, yeah. I just want them to be authentic and, um, you know, that's kind of part of their charm, I guess, mm -hmm. is the way I write, the way I talk or, you know. Well, and it's, it's so. deeply personal. It's not like you're, yeah. you know, writing these letters for, you know, originally for anybody to read. Now it's you know, it's out there, but it's still deeply personal to you. Right. Um, and remind, okay, so Etsy, that's where I got them. I was sitting in a hotel room in Phoenix uh, with a basketball <laughs> team, but that's where I found them. Um, but Amazon is, is also where you can get this book, right? Yep. Okay. Um, 
looking forward to, to book two. I can't wait to finish this. And I have a 24-year-old daughter, a 4-year-old daughter, and a 22-year-old son sandwiched in between. So maybe <laughs> I'll reach out, write letters to him, and you can help me with that. Cause, there you go. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, enjoy enjoy it. I can't wait, to, like I said, to read the rest of it. I'm already enthralled with the first couple chapters. Um and I, I just, I will wish you the best of success, and I appreciate you joining us today. No, oh, thank you. That is uh, Ashley Gears joining us, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Uh, it's called Dear Sienna, Letters to Every Daughter, Ashley Gears. So, um, per, it's a great book, and if you have daughters, it's a good read. So, uh, let's see here. Let's do... Uh, on this day in history. Oh, just found out Lindsay Woolley, Western women's coach, will join us tomorrow uh, to talk about Paige Holmes, Paige Pafhausen's uh, fundraiser. Uh, so that'll be coming up tomorrow uh, before his uh, game against the University of Providence as the Frontier Conference gets back into its schedule. And it's going to be a, a fast two months in the Frontier before the Frontier Conference tournaments the end of February in Great Falls. Uh, today is January 4th, 2023. It is National Trivia Day. It is also World Braille Day. 1975, New Orleans Jazz set a then-NBA record with a 24-second shot clock by scoring 20 points in the first half of a loss in Seattle. That record stood for nearly 25 years. 1977, Mary Shane hired by the White Sox as the first woman TV play-by-play -play announcer. 1986, NCAA's uh, David Robinson of Navy blocked a record 14 shots. Don Shula, born on this day in, on his birthday, he uh, passed away two years ago. And uh, that is a little bit of what happened on this day in history. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the big easy meets the big sky. Stop in for the best Cajun this side of New Orleans right there on Euclid in Helena. Uh, what did we learn? Um, fundraiser tomorrow. Uh, all the proceeds from the game, uh, games against University of Providence at Montana Western and Dillon will go towards helping Paige Pafhausen, formerly Paige Holmes, great basketball player for the Bulldogs as she uh, – battles uh, a nasty infection she got after giving birth to uh, her and her husband, uh, Mike, uh, daughter, Parker. So we'll talk to Lindsay Woolley tomorrow about that as well. You know what else is coming up? The FCS National Championship. Number one, South Dakota State. Number three, North Dakota State. It'll be Sunday on ABC at noon, the kickoff here in Montana. And tomorrow we'll talk to Sam Herger from Hero Sports FCS. Who has the upper hand? Who's going to win? He'll tell us. Thanks to Ashley Gears. Alex Eshelman, we wish you the best. We're going to miss you. But I know you're on to bigger and better things. And if you missed anything from today's show, go to jasonwalkershow.com. Thanks for the tweets, the emails, and the great support from our listeners and our viewers. We'll do it again tomorrow. The Jason Walker Show, right here. Go to jasonwalkershow.com. Have a great Wednesday. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.